Diamond, the freshman, gets it over midcourt, looking for some help. All the way into the low post, Ryan turns, kicks out of the mid-block. Brennan will try a three and knock it down. Already active on the glass with four rebounds early. They get it to her. Davis Stewart smothers the shot. Second effort. Ryan with the bucket and the foul. Uh, Merrimack cannot let the six foot four Ryan catch the ball that deep. Guaccioni works away from the trap. Glennon back to Guaccioni. Guaccioni catching fire three. Yes. A good challenge on the closeout. Putnam crosses over, gets in the wing, kicks it out. Glennon going to fire away again. This time it's good. St. Anson lead down to two. Putnam finds Messler working underneath, reverses it up and in, high off the window. Yeah, she can play the glass as, as well as anybody. Back to Guarcioni, Putnam. Works out high against Werner. Steinman inside to Messler. Powers it up and in. Well, Putnam go over the top of Casey. She's got a great feel for the glass. Hawks can take the game clock under a minute here on this possession. Ryan rips it away from Casey and rolls right to the rim for two. Gamble by Casey there trying to deny the high post pass. And Ryan, after the catch, knew exactly where to go, right to the hole. Guaccioni gets it into Ryan, fakes the shot. He'll take it now from just inside the right elbow and hit. Smooth. Looking like it's going to be a quick ball game. Long in down to Glennon, over to Steinman. Feeds it into the low post. Ryan kicks out Glennon, open from straight away. Adams home the three. Well, there's an adjustment, Ben. Merrimack looking to double-team Ryan immediately on the catch in the low post. And the sophomore has the wherewithal to know where her shooters are. Down for the Hawks underneath. Steinman to Messler, going to fire a corner three and hit it. Wow, that's a big shot by Messler. Uh, that's a nice play there. Quick give and go, and Messler, who has range, able to cap, capitalize. The middle feeds it back to Messler. Guaccioni has it. Less than 10 to shoot. Glennon drives. Floater from the free throw line is good. Or Glennon just lofted it up there, and it found its home. Caught up in the press. Yeah. Al's trying to turn the corner. Lobs for Davis Stewart. Catches blocked underneath by Ryan. Gives to Alves. Under 15 to shoot. Casey wants it. Alves looking to turn the corner. Gets to the bucket. Floats it up. Shot no good. Ryan the rebound into the hands of Putnam. Has Glennon up ahead. Glennon spins on Kimball. Hangs and hits. Wow. Pretty skin move there to avoid the double. A couple of timely shots here in this fourth quarter by the senior from nearby Bedford. Messler turns it over to Glennon. Guaccioni to catch. Six to shoot. Putnam to Guaccioni. Takes the three for the lead. And hits! Please Guaccioni from downtown. The freshman did not hesitate. Shoots it with confidence. Under a minute to go. Hawks by one. Guaccioni. Tries to feed it in, Ryan, triple team, tied up, Casey with a steal, lobs it ahead, Torres lost it, loose on the floor, Putnam, Guaccioni picks it up, three seconds, two, Torres commits a foul. Let's switch everything too here. Kimball floats it in, Casey looking for the tie, comes up with nothing, and St. Anson holds on. Grace Guaccioni, the hero today with the game winning three. And St. Anson staves off a good challenge for Merrimack, 59-57 the final. Yeah, th this part of the season, you really want to make sure you, you know, at home, you know, hold the home court advantage, um, you know, and win, the, win those games. Especially it's coming down with the middle of the pack, you know, the way we're all bunched up right now. Uh, it's a really meaningful win. And, you know, for our group to, um, you know, if you compare the two games, you know, from early in the year to now, and you know, sort of the evolution of our team, you know, and the development and the growth. Um, and it really shows, you know, our team's um, drive and you know, commitment to getting better. And, you know, there's still, you know, some potential for us as well. Highly contested game, you know, it was back and forth. And, you know, I remember they got up by five and, um, you know, in a timeout, you know, we just collected ourselves and, you know, started to push forward. And, you know, Grace makes a great pass. Um, you know, against the press to find Shannon, and then later on, you know, hits obviously a great shot, a big three, which, you know, she's a great shooter. Um, you know, but it wasn't easy for her all day, and she um, continued to, you know, pop back from, you know, from plays and play, focus on playing the next play, and, you know, she came up with some big ones.